In this lesson, we're going to subtract two-digit numbers by partitioning. So here, we have 77 minus 33. So we can partition the number 77 into 70 and 7, because we have 7 tens and 7 units. And we can partition the number 33 into 30 and 3 because in the number 33, there are three tens and three units. So we're going to subtract 30 and 3 from 70 and 7. So let's start with our units. We have seven units, and we're subtracting 3. So let's take away 1, 2, 3. That leaves us with four units. And even though I'm subtracting, I'm going to write an addition symbol here because we're going to add our four leftover units to however many tens we have left over to get our answer. So looking at the tens, we start with 70 or seven tens and we want to subtract 30. So how many tens will we need to subtract? Well, 30 is three tens, so let's take away one, two, three tens, and that leaves us with four tens, or 40. So what do we have left? We have four tens, or 40, and four units, so we have 44. Now we have 89 take away 31. How can we partition the numbers 89 and 31? Well, we can partition 89 into 80 and 9, because we have 8 tens and 9 units. And we can partition 31 into 30 and 1. So we're going to subtract 30 and 1 from 80 and 9. So starting with the units, we have 9 and we want to take away 1. So if I take away 1 unit, that leaves me with 8 units. 9 take away 1 is 8. And again, even though I'm subtracting, we're going to add our leftover units and our leftover tens to find our answer, so we can write an addition symbol here. So now we look at our tens. We always deal with our units first, and then the tens. So we have eight tens, and we want to subtract 30, so we want to subtract three tens. So let's take away one, two, three tens, and that leaves us with five tens, or 50. So 80 take away 30 is 50. Now we have 50 plus 8, which gives us our answer, 58. Now this question is a little bit more difficult, and you'll see why in a moment. We have 72, which we can partition as 70 and 2, because we have 7 tens and 2 units. And we're subtracting 26, which we can partition as 20 and 6. So we want to subtract 20 and 6 from 70 and 2. So as always, we start with the units, but I have a problem what problem do we have? Well, I only have two units, but I want to take away six. So what can I do? Well, I need to regroup one of my tens into ten units. Sometimes this is called borrowing a ten. So let me show you what I mean. We have seven tens, or seventy, but if I cross out 70 and write 10 less than 70, 
which is 60, I can then add 10 to my units. So what we're doing is we're taking this 10 and we're turning it into 10 units. So now I only have 6 10s, but I have 12 units. So 10 plus 2 is 12. So we can't do 2 minus 6, but we can do 12 minus 6. So if I take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that leaves me with 6 units. And now I can write plus because we're going to add our leftover 10s to our 6 units to get our answer. So now we don't have 7 10s anymore because we've regrouped one of our 10s. So now we only have 6 10s or 60. And if we're subtracting 20, we're subtracting how many 10s? Well, 20 is 2 10s. So if we take away 1, 2 10s, that leaves us with 4 10s or 40. So 60 minus 20 is 40. So now we have 40 plus 6. So that gives us our answer of 46. Now we have 62 take away 18. So we have 60 and 2, because with the number 62, we have 6 tens and 2 units. And we're going to take away 1 ten and 8 units, because we're taking away 18. So we're going to subtract 10 and 8 from 60 and 2. But again, I can see a problem. It's the same problem we had last time. So what can we do? Pause the video and see if you can answer this question. So we start with our units, but if we only have two units, we can't take away eight units. So we need to take 10 from 60, so it becomes 50, and then we can give that 10 to our two units to make 12 units. So we're regrouping one of our 10 into 10 units, so now we have 12 units. Now we can subtract 8, so let's subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that leaves us with 4 units. So now we can move on to our 10s. We now have 5 tens, not 6 tens, but 5 tens or 50, and we need to subtract 10. So if we take away 10, we're left with 4 tens or 40. Now we have 40 plus 4, which gives us 44. So here we have 70 subtract 27. Now we can't really partition 70, so I'm going to write 70 and 0 because we have 7 tens and 0 units. Now pause the video and see if you can answer this question. So we can partition 27 into 20 and 7. So we need to subtract 20 and 7 from 70. So if we start with the units, well, we can see that we don't have any units, and we can't take away 7 from nothing. So what do we do? We're going to take 10 from 70, so we have 60, and then we have 10 plus 0, or 10 units. So we've taken a 10, and turned it into units. Now we can subtract 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that leaves us with 3 units. So now we're done with our units, we can move on to our 10s. 
We now have how many tens? We have six tens, or sixty, and we want to take away twenty, which is two tens. So if we take away one, two tens, that leaves us with four tens, or forty. Sixty take away twenty is forty. So now our answer is forty plus three, which is forty-three.